Yemu and Obatala, the primordial couple, the divine pair, the couple that existed before humankind, the couple that incarnates to share a destiny, the couple that recreates the sacred Euroboros energy during intercourse and intimacy, awakening the Kundalini, the divine union of consciousness and energy. Several couples have represented and been a symbol for this type of sacred union throughout millennia. Yemo and Obatala are one example among others such as Aset and Asar and Shakti and Shiva. It gives a twin gods type of energy. But a divine counterpart of this type of pair is not just a soulmate or a twin flame, even though they can be. But these individuals are a part of this type of union and they're connected on a level that relates strongly to them having a compatible destiny with a balance of one person representing the divine feminine and the other person representing the divine masculine. A lot of times people get caught up on the whole idea of soulmates and twin flames. But to clear up some misconceptions about that, you can have multiple soulmates. And a lot of times those experiences are not even great. They don't always end well. However, if on your soul's journey, you meet and you encounter a strong destiny mate, when you have resolved some related karmic issues, as well as evolved in your consciousness and evolved in your character, that union will always be a symbol of the divine pair.